So that's how the girl came with two of her friends. So they actually started well, like normal, prepared to do it, like two of them as girlfriend and boyfriend. So the two girls now came in, she understands. So that guy is really tired, like the really f down. Now, can I use the square word? Yeah, so the way the so ah, so it's so much so the two friends like the guys with the week like, like gone like three rounds. So that is how like the two friends soon now came and that's how suddenly Welcome to another wonderful episode on Battlebox. It's a sunny day today, but something can get off my mind. A lot of people believe only women get raped. But come to think of it, do men actually get raped? I don't know, you don't know. Let's find out. It's normal, girls rape boys, boys rape girls. The boys own is SS, but it's normal. SS, but in this part of the world, we don't really hear about it. It's mostly women getting raped by men that we hear about. So even hearing you say it's normal and the men own is excess is surprising. Even if a girl, they tell you a girl raped a boy, it will be hard to believe now. It will be very hard to believe. Because they will feel it's very hard for the girl to overpower a boy. But it's possible. Yeah, I think so. Yes, I believe. No. No, I don't believe. That was very vocal. No. No. Happens very well. Have you heard about any experiences or have you ever gotten actually, raped? I've just heard. I've, um, I've actually not thought of that before, but I don't think rape is um, synonymous to men. I think it's the ladies that are being raped. I can't, you know, imagine that a woman can, you know, overpower a guy. And because when it comes to rape, it has to be something that is forcefully done. So if a woman can actually, you know, overpower you and say, oh yeah, by force, by fire, by force, you must do it. I, I, I can't imagine that happening anyway. Is this a friend of mine? That you know, he went, he went out and called his friend. Like he lodged in the hotel, so he called his girlfriend. Like the girl came with two of her friends, like that. So when the two friends got, they actually, the guy was like, you know, normal on shayu level now. He had already taken shayu smoke and all stuff like yeah, that. Destroyed the girl and, that like, night. He's ready. <laughs> so not knowing that the girl, like they met online, like on Facebook. Not knowing that the girl is like. One of all these street girls now that already used to runs and stuff like that. So that girl came with two of her friends. So they actually started well, like normal, prepared to do it, like two of them as girlfriend and boyfriend. So the two girls now came in, she understands. So that guy is really tired, like the way the f down, f down. Can I use the square word? Yeah, so the way the, so, ah, so it's so much. So the two friends, like the guys with the week, like, were like gone like three rounds. So that is how like the two friends soon now came. And that's how suddenly the guy started screaming. He couldn't stand up. Someone that is really weak, totally like sweating. They're saying that he's like, someone that is really tired, like cannot even raise a hand. Like his blood has really dried and everything <laughs> like that. And yo, for you, for you. So that's how the guy was screaming. And they actually locked the door. So me, I was now passing the window. Like the window is in this place. So me, I'm just passing this place. As I'm passing, that's how I just saw. Uh, I was hearing the noise, so I just peeped, and now so that's and it's my friend now, so I just had to, and I break, I broke the door, so I even broke the door. So that's how those girls now pursue me, like they want to rape me. So that's how, and I ran. The first time I encountered it was when I was twelve. I went out with a French, uh, so the lady was like, she was just dancing. I guess she was drunk, so she just sat down my leg. I was like, oh my Jesus, this was something, something like that. So, and there was a friend, it was in the past days, uh, something like that, it was a guy actually. So his friends knew he was a virgin, something like that. And you know, at peer pressure, they were trying to um, let him be among them, as in for him also to be this virgin, but he never wanted. So there was a particular day they took him on a party. It was a night party for that matter. Normally he didn't want to go. But as they were pestering him, he had no choice than to go. He followed them there and they got him drunk. They made sure he was drunk. So when he was drunk, they took him to a particular room over there where they had the party and they left two girls. It was planned. They put in two girls in the same room with him and told the girls to sleep with him. So in that way, I would say he's being raped because it was not an intentional act, something like that. A girl, she, she drugged me, not forcefully, 
but she drugged me. But by the grace of God, <laughs> I know what happened actually. Like, yeah. how did you manage to escape? You were drugged. Yeah, I was drunk, but I still had uh, my senses with me. But she was like getting hold of me, like wanting to force me down, remove my clothes, all those stuff. Yeah. Do you know if it was traumatizing for that your friend? Like, what were the side effects, after effects of the whole experience? Like, I know you will lose a lot of blood. Yeah. <laughs> yes, now. So it's just blood. He will lose a lot of blood, and it will affect him. It's, it will affect his sexual life, so he won't be able to, you know, take risk of bringing a woman and stuff like that. Partially, yes, because it won't, I think, mean, to give you that urge after if it, after that trial to give you the urge to want more. Actually, like like after raping a girl now, the same way after raping a girl, the urge to have more of that will be there. The same way it happens to boys too. Yeah. It is not. Because girls, there are so many things that might happen to them. She understand. For some, they might not be able to give birth. But at least men, they can still, you know. That's if they don't inject men. He was not really liking it. He was blaming himself for number one, meeting such people as his friend. And number two, for falling into their trap. He was not happy. And he made sure he distanced himself from all of them. Well, the traumatizing part of it could be the um, probably the adverse effect of it yeah. on the little boy. Probably when he starts growing up, um, because of his personal experiences about it, he might change his personality and he might become a, a, another person entirely. Well, that was an amazing one. Do not forget to like this video, subscribe to Batterbox.com, comment what you feel about this video in the comment section. My name is Jumai Precious, thanks for watching, bye! Butter, butter. Butter. Box.